<laughs> oh, oh, it's you again. Oh, hello. Oh, sorry. If, that's, sorry, um, I fell asleep. I can't believe, I can't believe this has gone on for seven, seven episodes. A whole week of me. Are you excited by that? Well, we've reached number seven, and this is definitely the last video in this particular series of shout outs and questions. This video is just going to cover all those stragglers, those latecomers that left comments right at the end. Some, in fact, left comments after the 5 pm deadline, but as I'm a nice person, despite what some of you think, I'm going to include you as well. But after this video goes out, well, before actually, when I've made this video, when this video is in the can, so to speak, and I've edited it, then there'll be no more shout outs or verbal questions answered. Not until next year, I'm afraid, because this has whacked me out. But it's my own fault. I should not have been nattering on so long. But anyway, right, let's get on, or we'll never get finished. Right, this is. From, oh dear me, uh, Zorat, Zorat Pap, is that correct? Zo, Z, 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 S, O, L, T, Pap, Zorat, I think, Pap. Hello, Ibeziak, Ibeziak. I'm from Romania and I'm a huge fan of you. It would be great if you could give me a shout out and I love your videos. I've watched nearly all of them. Nearly all of them. How dare you? You should watch every single video and at least twice, honestly. Anyone who considers themselves a huge fan has to watch every single one of my videos at least twice, but I think ten times is best, don't you? Anyway, I'm glad that my videos are reaching you all the way over there in Romania. I wonder what sort of vacuum cleaners you have over there. I'll have to look that up. So, hello to you, you're one of the ones that got in. I think you got in before the deadline. So, uh, well done to you. Alicia, Alicia Matthews. Right, would love a shout out. Ah, yes, I recognize this name. I would love a shout out for Marshall, please. He is four years old and a total vacuum enthusiast. He started off watching your Henry demos. He now gets super excited about all your new videos and you're a daily part of his life. His hopes and dreams are to become a YouTuber just like you. He has his birthday and Christmas presents planned out years in advance for various types of vacuums. This Christmas, he is, ho he is hoping for a Mila Complete C1 vacuum cleaner. Thanks! Hello, Marshall Matthews. Now, I think your mummy has sent me a picture of you. I think so, on my Facebook page. So I'll show that, so all the viewers can see your little collection. So, you want to become a YouTuber, do you, Marshall? Well, it's a lot of hard work, and uh, doesn't you've got to really work at it, but uh, you've started very early. That's much earlier than I started, because YouTube didn't exist when I was your age. In fact, the internet didn't exist when I was your age, nor did mobile phones or flying cars. Well, flying cars don't exist now, do they? But anyway, makes me sound very, very old. I'm not that, that old, Marshall. But anyway, um, hopefully Santa will bring you that lovely Mila vacuum cleaner. Is that the red one? That's a very Christmassy colour, isn't it, for a vacuum? They're very good. And, uh, but don't keep asking your mummy for lots of vacuums because I think, apart from Santa, he'll bring you some at Christmas, or at least one, hopefully. But uh, your birthdays, it's your, your mummy and daddy have to buy that, don't they? So hopefully you'll uh, enjoy your Mila anyway, if you get one at Christmas. But you have to be a good boy. And if you do any little demos, make sure you clean up after you, won't you? Okay, so hello to Marshall. Right, who's next? Karen Ritchie would love a shout out. Oh, well, this is not for you, Karen. Would love a shout out for our son, Stephen. He is five. Oh, that's very old, Stephen. Very old. You know, the average age is three, but, uh, well, you're a very big boy, five. <laughs> 
He is five and absolutely loves your videos. He has now started making his own demo videos, Ibasiac style. Many thanks for your time. So hello, Stephen. Don't you be taking my job, will you? I've still got a few years left of me, left in me, I should say. Um, you can be my mini me, if you like. So are you putting, are you throwing down lots of mess and, and looking for the line of shame, are you? Eh? Checking for the agitation? Well done. Anyway, Stephen, five years old and uh, already doing vacuum demos. Keep it up. Next one, I don't know uh, if this is supposed to be on here. Anyway, Chris Bloomfield, would you ever consider doing a toy vacuum slash washer giveaway? Um, I am considering a giveaway at some point. It will be in the form of a competition. It's not set in steel, so... There is a chance, I don't know how I'm going to work this out, because the prize will, I expect, be a vacuum cleaner, which is okay if someone from the UK wins it, or Europe, but if it's someone in America or Canada, or somewhere further than that, it might be a bit tricky. So I'm going to have to think about what to do, and obviously if it's a vacuum, it won't work in America. I am considering a special giveaway, but it won't be a toy. It will be a real vacuum, but it's not yet. Okay, thanks for the question, Chris. The vac mat. Shout out, please, and how many pneumatics have you had in the past? And names, please. And again, can you da at this of Bosch and Dyson? Sorry for the nag. Well, if you're sorry, why do it? Naughty. Naughty. Ooh, that hurt. Uh... And, and the Vat Max favourite is Henry. Well, the Vat Matt, with a picture of Henry. Um, you see, I've had quite a lot. I can't name the model numbers. Obviously, I've had several Henrys. Um, I've still got the um, latest version, but the ones that went before I don't have. So I've had several Henrys. I've had a James, before the James I've got now. Um, I've had a Hetty before the Hetty, so the ones I'm saying, I've had a James, a Hetty and a uh, Henry, all of the older versions. I've also had several Georges. Um, I've had a Henry Hound. Um, hmm, I think that's it. I've never had a Charles yet. And, oh yes, I've got also, well the ones I've got, if you want to know what I've got now, I've got Hetty, Hetty Compact, Henry, James, uh, Harry, oh, Jack, uh, is that it? I can't remember. Anyway, there's so many. So, uh, can you do a Bosch and Dyson? Well, I'm not doing a Bosch versus Dyson because I haven't got that Dyson V6. I sent it back. So there's no point in doing a Bosch versus the Dyson DC35, because I know which will win on carpet, the Bosch will win in that particular demo. Although the Dyson will win for above floor cleaning, it's more versatile, the Bosch is very poor for doing your above floor, because you have to put the hose on, it's a, it's a right old faff about. Lots of people have complained about that in reviews. So, um, now I can't be doing that. If I've still got the Bosch when I get another Dyson, maybe a V8, I'm not promising anything, but if I do, I could do a comparison of those two. Anyway, thank you for the question, the VAC Matt. Uh, here's a quick one. Craze Ease, one, two, three. Can I have a shout out with your Nike swoosh? Yes, you can have a shout out. Hello to you. Another one. Uh, I don't think this should be on here, but anyway, it's, I'll read it out. Fraser Bray, hiya Roger, spelt with a D. Naughty. No D in Roger. Not the way I'm, I'm spelt, anyway. Hiya Roger, I have a Goblin handheld vacuum cleaner and was wondering if I would be able to wash the filters. Now, is that the Goblin I've demonstrated on my channel? Because if it is, you see, such a long time ago, and it's packed away. I'm a, I think you can wash the filters for that one. You should, if you bought it from new, it should say in the instruction book. But if it is the Goblin handheld that I've done on my channel, then I'm pretty sure you can. 
If it's an older Goblin handheld cleaner you've got, because they did older ones um, back in the day, then I can't say for sure. But if it's the latest one from Asda, then I'm pretty sure you can. But you're not supposed to use detergent, you're supposed to just rinse it in cold water. But make sure it's dry before you put it back in the machine. Shannon, I've answered this before I realised, but it was after the it's after the time limit. Have you ever thought of starting a hotel but only for vacuums? I don't really know how that would work though, Shannon. Um, a hotel for vacuums? Who would, who would pay their bill? You know, the vacuums can't actually come in and, and say, yes, I'd like a room please for Mr and Mrs Smith. <laughs> Uh, or, you know, or Henry and Hetty could possibly book a room for a romantic weekend away. But as they're not real and can't speak for themselves and can't earn any money, I don't really know how. So that's an odd question, but thanks anyway, Shannon. Well, that's it. That is it. That is good then. Um, that's good. Because I thought I'd be going on for ages. I might still, you know. Night's young. I've got uh, 37 minutes left on this uh, SD card, so I could easily uh, go on forever. Anyway, now this is really the end of the shout outs. Starting so long ago with New Age Connor Alarm Extra. So, uh, hello to everyone who I've mentioned before. That's New Age Connor Alarm Extra, Sean Spangler, Caden. Vatney or Vatney, Xavier Himes, Abir the Lone Gunner, Pneumatic Collector, William Smith, Shrink David 1982, Paul Illingworth, Devin Klein, the Marley, Marwi, sorry, <laughs> got it wrong again, the Marwi, uh, Marwi, not the Marwi, two Mar Marwi, it's you I'm talking to, it's called the Mar the Marwi one, but you're called Maui. Okay, speed it up. Uh, hello to you again, Jack Toyne, Tony Bray. Oh, I'm not sure if uh, I mentioned him before. He's just put, I too had a Nilfisk GS80. Love them, very reliable hoovers. So that was a response to a question from, a statement from Connor. Tyler Trigger, Hoover Master, Duncan Price, Alex and Kate's show, Pneumatic Rule 29, Jimmy Willis and his little son Finlay, Adam Durbridge and his son Jacob, Matthew Powell, William Dubois, Jeremiah Johnson, Just Class 67, Andrew Eslick, David Malcolm. Oh David, you've changed your thumbnail since the video, haven't you? Oh, Rusty Skull Productions, Olivat Guy, Farming Sim, M80TMM, Jace West, Merlin3244, Jacob Bates, Swag Vlogs, James T. Smith, Shrink David again, Gamerboy123, Ahmed, Ryan Brooks, The Classic Gamer, Cleaning by Ken, Nathan, <laughs> Perida, Pereda, Nathan, you know who you are. Uh, Miraj Ali, uh, Kia Fourth, Patrick of course, Patrick McConnell, Joey, CA31, Top Finn, Dyson Obsessed, Supergirl319, James Dunn, Jake's Tech, Rosie Clifton, Ooh, <laughs> Uren, Eren, Nukan, Craig's Clocks, Car Lover16, Shannon McGosh, David Court, Hitchhiking Mike, Music Lover101, Llama Lover, Lawrence, Bushby, or Bushby, is that? Bushby? Oh no, I don't think I mentioned him. Chill out and have a good holiday. Thanks, Lawrence. Uh, Jovian Heng, Wara Spaghetti, Pneumatic Collector, Code 1996. Uh, Jimmy has come back again with Finley. Colin Johnson, Becco, 1987, the home of Sam Watson, the collector. Sammy Seal Gaming, Hoover Maniac, Nicky Man, Alex Doherty, Dave Tal Talbo. Melissa Lawback, RRLS, and his son Thomas, small holding sister, Xavier, can't pronounce your surname, sorry, Xavier, and I realise you're hugging, it looks like it's the DC-07, isn't it? It's not a DC-14, because the cyclones are more pointy. I think that's a DC-07 you're hugging. Monica and Friends had one of those. Hello to Daddy and Kyle, Vacuum Mad 8, check out Vacuum Mad 8's channel. 
Uh, Adrian Worthington, Cuties and Dees, Veronica Chichi, C Hockey Dude, Emery, Tayab's Room, Vax Food Reviews, Patrick Hartle. Oh, blimey, there was a lot. <laughs> Bill Wood, Joseph, uh, Rosamila, Amelia, Shrink David again, Kevin Eaton, Bruce Solomon, Josh, Josh Sidwell, Carl Lover 16 again, Adrian Worthington again, Dyson to you, David Herrera, I hope, <laughs> again, Craig Davidson, uh, Zol, ooh, I've forgotten how I was pronouncing it. Anyway, uh, Zolt, Zolt, from Romania, <laughs> sorry. Hello again, Alicia Matthews, Karen Ritchie, Chris Bloomfield, The Vac Matt, Crazies, one, two, three, Fraser Bray, and finally, again, Shannon McCarthy. Oh, hang on, I've got some likely spam. Oh, it's a good job I checked. Cute Pop Miner. Hello. I bet Cute Pop Miner thought I'd forgotten. Hello. Well, I had, actually. <laughs> but your stuff has gone in my spam folder because you put links. If anyone puts links to things, they normally go in my spam folder. I don't put them there. YouTube puts them there. And if I forget to look, then sometimes it can get lost. Hello, my four-year-old and three-year-old sisters, Veronica and Mary. Hello, Veronica and Mary. Love your videos. I just wanted to request that you do a review on the Samsung SC4130 because, in my opinion, it's the best vacuum ever for so many reasons. For example, it can blow instead of suck and you don't ever need to change the bag. I've had one for eight years and I have never changed the bag. I only empty it when it's full and the suction is still strong and powerful. Here's a picture of the vacuum. Here's a picture. And, and another request, can you please do a torture test with your pneumatic Henry like these? Because my sisters love these kinds of vacuum videos. Yeah, that's why it's gone in um, my spam folder, Cute Pop Miner. Because you put links. Right, uh, let's answer. That's, I've looked that Samsung up and I'm pretty sure you can't buy that in the UK. So I won't be doing that. And... Samsung do vacuums in the UK, but as far as I've seen, the ones we can get are all bagless. So, and if you've had that for eight years, it's unlikely it was available in this country, that one. It doesn't look familiar at all, that picture. Um, I'll be doing torture, probably torture, putting, well, big mess tests or whatever. But, you know, it's all getting down to trying to do it. Um, takes time setting up all these videos. Right, that's everyone. Right, that is it for this year. If you've wanted a shout out, well, I'll just do one last one. This they probably won't be watching. I was asked on Twitter. Well, it wasn't asked really. It was more like you will do this, so I I didn't do it. But um, they haven't actually. This person hasn't actually asked me to do the shout out in the video. So, I will find out where it was. Da, da, da. Hang on, I'm just going back to Twitter. You see, I don't really look on Twitter much. And um, it's not really the best place to ask me for things. You're better doing it on YouTube, because I always check those daily. Um, the YouTube messages. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I'm just scratching. Where, where? Messages. No, oh, perhaps it's not there. No, oh, it's in notifications. I'm looking at the wrong thing. See, I, I don't go on Twitter much. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, well, it might have been deleted. Oh, well, that's that. I saw it earlier. Um, oh, Devin has followed me recently on Twitter. Come on, Roger, this is blank airspace. You can't be having that. Have a look at these. Woo! Lovely little things. Yeah, yeah, have a look at that. Got to put some different vacuums up for you to look at. Well, oh yes, here we are. Here we are. Well, there's one. It's basically uh, I'm a shout out request, but they wanted an individual video, and I've, I can't do those anymore. I did explain previously. Right, finally then, hello to Jay and Aria, is that? They watch your YouTube vids every day. Jay is obsessed, so I expect, I expect Aria isn't quite as obsessed 
as Jay, but she probably has to watch them because uh, I expect they're on all the time. So hello to you. I don't know, if, I doubt you know this Aria, but there is a vacuum cleaner called a Hoover Aria. I haven't uh, seen a vacuum cleaner called Jay, not as far as I know, but there is a Hoover Aria. So, you've been uh, named after a vacuum cleaner, have you? No, I don't suppose so, but anyway. So hello, Jay and Aria. So that's everything done and dusted. Thank you everybody for watching these. I don't suppose, well, maybe some of my, some of my hardcore fans have actually sat through all seven. I didn't expect them to go to seven videos. I really didn't. I've enjoyed answering all your questions. Um, I've had some very good and interesting questions to answer. So thank you to everyone who's contributed to these seven videos. Ah, there must be over three hours of stuff. Nobody's going to be watching this. But anyway, somebody might. So for you, thank you for sticking with me all through the whole week of seven. Back to normal next week. Just three videos a week, I expect. So um, Shrink David did say he liked, uh, he liked waking up to me five days a week when I did five videos in a row. So Shrink David, you've had seven mornings of waking up next to me. How's it been for you? Did you enjoy it? Good, I'm sure you did. So thanks to everyone. A quick shout out to the people that have actually donated to my channel. You know who you are. I've sent you individual emails. Um, it's only about six people so far. Everything is greatly, re gratefully received. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not going to mention your names. I've mentioned one person, obviously, Patrick, who is very generous. But if, unless you want me to say your names on screen, I won't actually do it. But I've, I've, I've thanked you uh, via email. I do also, I'll just put it out there in case, because anyone watching now will be a huge, huge fan. I do, I've now set up an Amazon wish list. I'll put a link below if I can work out how to do it. Just search for Ibasiac's wish list on Amazon UK. And I've put, I think, 50 items there, ranging in price from very cheap to quite expensive. And they're all vacuum related and they all will be used on my channel. So if you buy anything from that, I will, of course, be mentioning you if you want me to. There's not enough, you know, I'm just put that out there. I only got that idea from Mr. Rusty. I saw that on his eye, so I nicked that idea. Rusty has nicked a few ideas for me, I think. So I've nicked some ideas off him. So I nicked that. I nicked something else off him too. Oh yes, I think PayPal. PayPal, me. I've pitched that off you too, Rusty. So thanks, Rusty. You're a good mate. Ooh, Rusty. Poor Rusty. I do feel sorry for him. So check out Rusty. Check out Vacuum Mad 8. Check out all the vacuum videos that you want to. There's so many on YouTube. And uh, enjoy your fun with your vacuums and have safe fun. Safe sucks with your vacuums. Make sure you've got the correct fuse and uh, don't mess about with them because electricity can be dangerous. Don't pick up water with your vacuum unless it's designed to do so. So always take care of your vacuums and your vacuums will take care of you. That's a good slogan. I wonder if I've pinched that off someone. Possibly. Anyway, this is it. Goodbye. Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed doing this. It's taken me hours and hours to edit it. So please, it's nice to have me on in the background if you just want to listen and drift off to sleep. But if you can watch, please watch because you'll notice I've put lots of pictures up, which is what's taken me ages to do. So there'll be a lot of little bits popping up from time to time throughout the videos, um, which I've put for comedy value and I've also put to illustrate what people are talking about. So if you're not sure what they're mentioning, if they're mentioning a particular vacuum and you don't know what that is, most cases I'll have put a picture up for you to look at. So again, thank you. I am going. I really am. Thank you for your support. Please thumb up every single video. Please subscribe if you don't already. If you're watching now, you must be subscribing. Um, don't forget, check out the five, six hundred or whatever, whatever videos there are, there might be one you haven't actually seen yet. So uh, have a look back at my older videos if you've got some time. So until the next time when I'll be knee deep in filth or 
unboxing another vacuum cleaner. I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye for now. Oh! <coughs> oh God, oh. <coughs> It was all going so well and I got a... I got a frog in my throat. And it wasn't an emotional frog. It's just because I've got the windows closed because I don't want the neighbours hearing I'm a fruitcake. <clears throat> I haven't got my gin, you see. My gin or vodka. No, no. I had to put the Ibasiac candles up, you see, and there was no room. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I better go and have a bit of water. Right, goodbye. See you very soon. And again, thanks for watching.